Hello viewers. How are you? Welcome to the fifth series of 2D transformation. In this video, I will discuss on matrix method. Viewers, in previous 2D transformation videos, I have learned you, translate function, rotate function, scale function and skew function. If you want to apply all these functions together, then use matrix function. Following is the syntax of matrix. Matrix function accepts six arguments, that define how the element will be transformed. Matrix function will allow you to skew, scale, translate, and rotate elements. Let me explain the syntax. First argument is for scale x. Second argument is for skew y. Third argument is for skew x. Fourth argument is for scale y. Fifth argument is for translate x. Sixth argument is for translate y. Understanding more clearly. Look the visual. We create square shape. Give margin to keep the square away from body corner. Here is the original shape of square. We will scale the element with the help of matrix function. As I have told you, first and fourth arguments are for scaling the element. First argument defines x axis of scale. And fourth argument defines y axis of scale. First argument increases the size of element in horizontal direction. And fourth argument increases the size of element in vertical direction. So see the result in the browser. Here you can judge, the element size has increased. It is two times bigger than original size. You can use only scale function for getting the required result. Look, how to get the same result with only scale function. Remove the matrix function. Scale function is putting same effect, like matrix function using only scale arguments. Three lines put same effect on the element. New viewers who cannot watch the video on scale function. They can get the video from playlist, or I will put the link of the video into description. If we use multi values in matrix function, see what happens. Now we use scale and skew functions together for getting such result. As I have told you. Second and third arguments are for skew. Second argument is for skew y. 
Third argument is for skew x. I have explained skew function with detail in previous video. You can find skew video link in the description. See the result in the browser. Here is the effect of the both scale and skew values. Remove the third value, that is skew x. Now the horizontal effect of skew is zero. Three effects are applying on the element. Remove the second value, that is skew y. Now the vertical effect of skew is zero. Like this, you can use other two arguments. Fifth argument is for moving the element in horizontal direction. Sixth argument is for moving the element in vertical direction. You can find the translate video in the description. Viewers, you can use all the effects separately or use only matrix for all the effects. We give translate values and check how the element look like. Now three effects are applying on the element. Look at the box it is original shape before applying transform property. When we use matrix function with all values, it applies scale, skew and translate effect together. You can use scale, skew and translate function separately.